You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mm, mm, smells, smells like, like freedom. freedom. And uh, happy Monday morning to you, Dan. Yeah. Monday morning after a pretty great uh, Father Father's Day weekend and thank yeah. you yes. thank you guys for for having me over. You're welcome. My eyebrows are growing yeah, back. It's it's, uh, it's going to be nice. I'm this close to adopting you two. Oh, this close. <laughs> yeah, he's holding his fingers pretty close together. Clear a couple hurdles. See what happens. Yeah. Happy birthday to uh, Chris Pratt, nifty guy, oh, great actor. Oh, yeah. Parks and Rec, his characters absolutely crack me up. Love him in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, he seems like a neat dude. He is 42 today. Okay. Nice. Uh, Ray Davies, he's a madman, lead singer of The Kinks. Oh, yeah. I think possibly one of the most underrated rock and roll bands in history. Yeah. They've been around forever. They do amazing things. Nobody really talks about them. We are. We are right now. That's why I am. Yes, Ray Davies is uh, 77 today. And this is just, I don't know, kind of weird, meant to be, whatever. Uh, I think uh, last week... We were talking about uh, Friday, favorite TV dads going into the right. Father's Day weekend. And Heidi, you mentioned your favorite Mr. was... Mr. Keaton. Ms. Mr. Keaton from, from Family Michael Ties. Gross. Yes, Michael Gross has a birthday today. Aww. Oh, nice. And of course, uh, he played opposite uh, Meredith Baxter Bernie, yes. who was Elise Keaton. Yes. Yeah. They both have birthdays today. Is her? Really? Oh, no, they oh, are both crazy. 74 today. They were born exactly the same exactly day. Exactly the same wow. day, same year. He's also Burt Gummer crazy. from all of the, uh, the the movies, the Tremors movies. Uh, he's just a great guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I just yeah, thought that was interesting. on Facebook. He's a nice dude. Okay, you just go, John. What else you got? <laughs> I had him on the show before. He's a good guy. He really is. That's right. You did. I was in here when yeah. you spoke to him. Yeah, he told me to <clears> tell you hello. <laughs> Huge day in history. This day, uh, 1788, the U.S. Constitution goes into effect when New Hampshire becomes the ninth state to ratify it. All right. That's a little document that begins, we the people. We the people. Hmm. 1893, <clears throat> first Ferris wheel in the U.S. opens at the... Uh, Something or another exposition in, oh, you would gosh. think New York, wouldn't you, like Coney Island or something? Um, okay. This was St. Chicago, Louis? Illinois. Oh, Chicago. Oh. Chicago, Illinois. I do love the Ferris wheel. I you, do too. you a fan mm. of the Ferris wheel? I don't like how they misspell it. Yeah, Dan Ferris. Because <laughs> it should be with an A. F A R, but no. Uh, you know what? It, I think it, it's a mellow ride to me. Yeah, I like it. It's just kind of, yeah, kind of cool. Yeah. I like being stuck on top. Yeah, I like the double Ferris wheel. Looking at the sights. You've been on one of those where it's like a big figure. It goes up and way up again and back down. Oh, super creepy. And in 1982, and this story just gets weirder by the day, to this day, but in this day in 1982, John Hinckley Jr. found not guilty of his 1981 assassination attempt of President Ronald Reagan by reason of insanity. That doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. Well, he was stowed away for a whole long time. But he was isn't released. Everybody, yeah, I mean, you'd have to be insane to shoot something somebody. wrong. <laughs> yes and no. Yeah, I just don't. Know. You can have a moment of anger. You yeah. can have a moment of that raw emotion. Yeah, but, but then it's temporary insanity. Well, I don't know what the criteria was. I'm John. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't there, John. This is why I'm trying to be quiet over here. I was, mm-hmm. Uh, he was released in 2016, by the way. No. You know what he's up to now? No. He's got over 8,000 subscribers to his YouTube channel. He does cover tunes. He plays guitars and sings like Bob Dylan, Elvis Presley. Really? He's got subscribers. Huh. Yeah, YouTube's making money off this dope. Wow. Huh. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Should I see if he's available to be on the show? <laughs> no. I guess is he is, because now he's just out there with his guitar. And I don't want him on the show. There, there you go. So... Hmm. I know, uh, you know, we all know. <laughs> what? I know anyone who just heard this is jumping on YouTube right now. <laughs> Johnny, uh, is it any good? I'll throw a link. <laughs> all right, thanks, Dan. Strange. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour, Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mm, smells, smells like, like freedom. freedom.
Are you ready to travel again? Join us for the best week of your life. The Sands is an immersive Gen X era experience for five sun-filled and fun-filled days at Dreams and Secrets, all-inclusive resorts in Cancun. Enjoy music from Billy Idol, Cheap Trick, Little River Band, The Hooters, Tesla, Wang Chung, Firehouse, Honeymoon Suite, CNC Music Factory, The Jets, and more. Make plans to join us for The Sands. October 25th through 30th. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Good day, sir. What do you have that's interesting for us today? Well, you know, gambling has become a big deal in this country. It was a heck. It was back in what the mid-90s. South Dakota said, hey, let's do video lottery. And then let's, yeah, yeah. Mm. let's put up casinos. And let's do this in sports gambling. And it's it's a big deal. Again, it's, it's big do-re-me. I mean, oh, yeah. it just is. <clears throat> do you guys ever buy, uh, like, Powerball tickets, that kind of thing. Once in a while. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time. I don't. I, I don't every I week. Occasionally or do every the, year. Yeah, there's no regularity to no. it. Every now and again, I'll get a little bug in my ear. Right. Of it, and the bug is always totally wrong. Right. <laughs> but how would you feel about this? Because this just happened about a week ago <clears throat> in Des Moines, Iowa. Couple apparently, the missus does buy lottery tickets on okay. occasion, and the Mister Bradley Hannah Walt was cleaning out the car, and he found a Powerball lottery ticket in his wife's car. All right. Took a look. It's a $100,000 win. Oh, All right. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Except, it's a good thing he checked. Except it, it expired. It expired a few <gasps> months previous. Oh, no. But they waltzed it into the lottery anyway, going, well, uh, you know, that whole pandemic thing was. And they got like six kids, and, and the Rona was going through the house, and they were down and oh, out. Oh, no. And uh, because of their heartstring pulling story, uh, Iowa Lottery said, yeah, tough. That's not how it works. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, really? Well, yeah. But how'd you feel about that? Well, according to Brad here, and this is a direct quote, he was talking to a, a television station <clears throat> down there in Des Moines, and he says, you know, it doesn't hurt because I didn't have the money to begin with, but it hurts because I could have had the could've money. Could have had the money. Oh, this? my god! I have six daughters. It would have helped with bills and everything else, oh, but it's money I didn't have, and I have everything I want. I'm blessed. All the kids are healthy now. I'm getting around. We're all healthy and happy, and we're loving life. Oh, but still, this. Oh, that's painful. What do you think he was saying to his wife? Because she oh, had the ticket; yeah, it was in her sure. car. Oh yeah. It's like just uh, interesting. So that I mean, would be try bad. to imagine it. No, I would not be in the room if that was you two. In fact, <laughs> in fact I'd oh, leave that the would state be ugly. Yeah. if it were you two. Who do you think would lose it, and who do you think? <laughs> John, you, you would have bought the ticket. <laughs> Heidi would have found it. Uh huh. Yeah, I would have lost and it, and it would have been all I over. May. I may have something like that in this pile right over here right now. Although we had a similar situation in this room where we were playing bingo and somebody won blackout. Oh, yeah, that was Dan. But didn't realize that. That was me. Yeah, that was you. Dan won $1,200. Didn't realize it until it was over. But he didn't win because he didn't call bingo because when it was all said and done, he goes, all I needed was I-16. And Heidi's like, they they called that that a long time. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. painful. Yeah. That was yeah. painful too. So I, I feel his pain. That's, that's but we're rough. talking about it over a year later. Yeah. <laughs> and every time Dan has a little tear run down his cheek. I don't. I just kind of looked around. And go, yeah, well, that's that's, that's my, my life. life. <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> Thank you for that update, Dan. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, thought, oh, yikes, man. That whole thing's too bad. Well, whatever. It's good stuff. And that is why we call this Stuff Dan Finds <laughs> Interesting. Addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and, if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for your morning coffee break, brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Uh, in addition to awesome coffee, they also have great iced tea and other fabulous things as well. I was just in there last week for a meeting, Dan. Good place to go. Can't go wrong. It's no, been like it's my, second, my second office for almost a decade I had now. Chislik for lunch from there on Friday. Oh, no, it was stuff. on uh, Thursday. It was good stuff. Yeah. Great stuff. Try the fish tacos. Well, try anything. It's yeah, just, oh, yeah. 
Everything there is good. Now I'm hungry. We should quit talking about this. What do you got over there? <laughs> All right, here we go. It's been, you know, you get out west. In fact, last week, in fact, I think it's saying for Vegas, almost 120 degrees in Vegas. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. crazy hot. And yeah. it's been awfully warm around here. It has. And it's no big deal. All of a sudden, well, it's 98 or it's 104, but normally that's for a day or two or three. Right. It's been going on for a couple of weeks. But then the question becomes, okay, that's the air temperature. What about other surfaces? Okay. Yeah. What about other areas? What are we dealing with, really? And thanks to uh, <clears throat> my buddy Perry Groton over at Kello TV, he wandered around late last week with an infrared thermometer checking this stuff out. Oh, funny. So I'm yeah. literally stealing Perry Groton's material. Perry's a good guy. Yes, he is. Hi, Perry. For instance, just a car sitting outside in this stuff for a while. By mid-afternoon, the body of that car, the hood, for instance, is going to be about 110 degrees. Mm. Your door handle's about 115. Mm. The interior of that vehicle, if it's been sitting, say, from <clears throat> 9 in the morning to 2, 3 in the afternoon, and it's been in the 90s, the interior, about 135. Yeah. That's warm. You can slow roast a pork loin in there. Yeah, you're yeah. good. The roof of your house, if you get your standard jingles, your tar paper, sure. your what, about 130 degrees. Wow. Mm. Sidewalks, your standard issue sidewalk, think like Phillips Avenue sure. or whatever, 125. Oh, man. And knowing that, be very careful when walking your pets. Absolutely. Yeah. Because they can burn their little paws. Their paws. This is the shocker. This is playground stuff. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and this is where uh, Luke and Sadie used to play a lot because we lived over by McKinnon back right. in the day. Of course, they've changed it out quite a bit with what's going on over there with the equipment and whatnot. But, for instance, that swing set seats by mid-afternoon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 127 degrees. What about the slide? Oh, no. <laughs> Come here, little two-year-old. <laughs> the slide plank going down about 135. Now, oh, they're nice. plastic now, too. Do they you remember are. back so, in the day when we had oh, the I molten totally do. lava metal... Absolutely, it was do. horrifying. Still didn't stop me for a minute. <laughs> I know we still used it, but it was <laughs> awful. <laughs> Honey, Danny needs another skin graft. <laughs> right, just put some salve on it. Get the Bakira comb. <laughs> what is that stuff? <laughs> now they have put some kind of artificial flooring stuff around the main play area at yeah. McKinnon Park. Okay. Kind yeah, of a like rubber. rubberized, whatever, whatever. Mid afternoon temp on that in yeah. this. 160 degrees. Holy cow. Whose idea at Park and Rec was this? <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of toasty. I want to go barefoot. My- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hot stuff. Hello, 911. <laughs> what happened? Well, I was barefoot at McKinnon. Oh, we'll be right. <laughs> 160 degrees. Yikes. I have a barefoot at McKinnon wing. So, yeah, I was, I was surprised by by some of these. So, yeah, fascinating stuff. Uh, good job, Perry, over Kel checks in the mail. Yeah, yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> He does a good job. Yes, he does. Well, thank you, Dan. Hey, thanks for having me, guys. Pleasure. We'll uh, talk to you again tomorrow. How's that sound? Yeah, I'll be here. All right. <laughs> it's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you this whole month by our friends at Sioux Falls fireworks.org if you're looking for special prices on some pretty amazing products check out the website radiosavings.com we're adding new items all the time so you might find something cool and you can save money when you buy stuff at radiosavings.com one other thing many people like many of the products you'll find at radiosavings.com are made in the USA good quality items at great prices radiosavings.com we can save you more radiosavings.com that's radiosavings.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We are going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. And it's just me all by myself today because I'm talking about an event that we're helping to put on. It's called the Sioux Falls Fireworks. It's on the 4th of July. It is a free event sponsored by Market Beat. Car Swap, Grand Falls Casino, and Sunny 93.3. And we would love to invite you to join us. It's on Sunday, July 4th, Independence Day, at the WH Lion Fairgrounds. Now, the gates open at 7 p.m., and if you get there right at 7 p.m., first thing you're going to notice, something brand new this year, when you walk through the gates, you're going to see more flags than uh, probably more flags than I've ever seen anywhere in one place, and maybe you as well. 
It's called Flags Honoring America. We're getting these from a place called Maximum Promotions. And we said, we want every flag you got. Sponsored by XL Energy. A huge thank you to them. And uh, we got some really fun stuff in the works with that. So just visually, when you walk in, it's going to look very, very cool. There are going to be a couple of food trucks there. And there's some food from the fairgrounds as well. And some ice cream and some fun stuff. So bring your wallet so you can buy some food. Uh, They also, uh, we were going to have some music from Groove Entertainment. Super excited to have Groove Entertainment there this year to help us with that and a kids area with some inflatables huge thank you to the guardians of the children they're going to be helping with that area and uh, making sure that the kids that are there are having fun and being safe so bring the kids have some fun like i said come early the gates open at 7 at 8 p.m the sioux falls municipal band will play so at 8 o'clock, we're going to turn off the other music. Sioux Falls Municipal Band plays for about an hour. And this is always a fun thing. They, they do an amazing job playing some really cool patriotic music. So a huge thank you to the Sioux Falls Municipal Band, 8 p.m. on the 4th of July. At 9 o'clock, we get our music fired back up. But then keep your eye in the sky for the Poet Ethanol-Powered Vanguard Flyover. That happens at about 9 p.m. It's a, a slightly after 9. Uh, so be watching the sky. And then at 10 p.m., the fireworks show put on by the fireworks store and sponsored exclusively by Market Beat, Car Swap, Grand Falls Casino, and Sunny 93.3. We are so excited to have a show to end all shows. This is going to be one heck of an amazing fireworks show. And you can watch it from anywhere in Northwest Sioux Falls, but I'm putting my plea out to say, hey, come and join us at the fairgrounds. Admission is free. We've got parking. We've got everything set up and ready to go so you can park there, come over and watch it. And in addition to kind of some cool ground show fireworks that they're going to be doing just for the people at the fairgrounds, we've also talked to our friends at Groove Entertainment, and they're going to bring a really cool light show. We've never had that before at the fireworks in Sioux Falls, so that's brand new, and it's sponsored by International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. They've been sponsors on this event for many years, and they're great, great people. So this year... They're sponsoring a really cool patriotic light show that's going to be happening simultaneously with the fireworks. So, again, you can watch it from anywhere, but come and sit in the stands because it is going to be one heck of a show. The fireworks are set to music. Like I said, you can watch them anywhere and listen on Sunny 93.3. We'll have the soundtrack, but we would love to have you join us at the WH Lion Fairgrounds in Sioux Falls on the 4th of July. I put a link on the bottom of our page SiouxFallsFireworks.org. You can see uh, a little bit of information on camping. So if you have a camper and you want to come camp at the fairgrounds, I don't know how many spaces they have left, but I've had people asking about that, so I actually put a link because that's not up to me. That's up to the fairgrounds, but they actually have camping spots available. If you want to do that, reach out right away because they do have a limited number of spaces available. All of that details, uh, all of the information for that, rather, on their website, but I have a link to it at the bottom of the page at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Again, if you get a chance, come and join us. If you're out of town that weekend, come home a little bit early because it's on a Sunday night. We'd love to have you join us right here in Sioux Falls for the Sioux Falls Fireworks. Again, sponsored exclusively by Market Beat, Car Swap, Grand Falls Casino, and Sunny 93.3. All of the details at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. I kind of feel like I've been talking about BetterCreditCards.com forever now. But we want to mention that BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out. So when you get a minute, click on the website BetterCreditCards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner, brought to you by Reaper Arsenal. Well, I'm ruggedly handsome. I'm a heck of a man. I mess around with nature whenever I can. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love the little critters and the big critters, too. Like to cook them up in a tasty stew. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, it's time for Critter Corner right here on Sunny. If you like the show, then send me some money. He's Ranger Dan. Cash and credit card only. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. And all right, bad little snappy salute off the well starred rim. The Ranger Dan cap to you, too. What's happening over there, Percy? Hey, hi, Dan. Ranger Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> You know, I've been getting a lot of good feedback on all the camping and hiking and stuff we've been talking about the past couple of weeks. And then, you know, then it occurred to me, you know, it's it's real simple to talk about, well, we did this and we saw this tree or this river or this bird and there there goes an antelope and blah, blah, blah. But hold, 
all this stuff came to be somehow. Yeah. And it all got named somehow. And who learned this stuff? And who passed this stuff down? Oh, so yeah. we're going to go right back to the very beginning as Ranger Dan understands it. Okay. okay. Are you with me? Are you I, following yeah, along right. here? Well, in the beginning, what'd you have? You had Adam, correct? God created yeah. Adam. And where did he put him? He put him in nature. Yeah. yeah like all of na- his nature has been in yeah. nature. And it's nature. <laughs> right there in the garden. Correct? Yeah, he and did. There's trees and plants and, there, and there's beautiful meadows and yeah. flowers and trees and... God looked down and said, Adam, I want you to do a little something for me. And Adam said, gladly, Lord, what is it you want of me? So I want you to go down into the, into the valley there. And Adam said, what's, what's a valley? See? Sure. It's, yeah, brand, it's brand new. new. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's true. And God explained to him what a valley is. And God said, and I need you to cross the river, too, to which Adam said, hmm, what's a river, right. Lord? Well, God explained to him. And then he said, and I need you to go over that hill. There. Well, what's a hill? Yeah. God explained it to him then said, now on the other side of that hill, you're going to find a cave, Adam, which Adam, of course, is not clear here. What's sure. what's cave, Lord? And God laid it out for him and said, and here's the really great part, Adam, in that cave, you're going to find a woman. Mm. Adam oh. said, I am clueless. What is a woman? And God explained that to him too. And then God said, and your job, Adam, is to reproduce and populate the beautiful planet I have created. Mm-hmm. Adam said, I, I got nothing. How, how do you do that? And, and God whispered in his ear how the whole thing worked. And Adam said, well, geez, okay. And Adam <laughs> goes on his way down the valley, across the river, over the hill, into that cave. And sure enough, there he finds Eve. <laughs> About five minutes later, he's back. God, his patience really kind of getting a little thin, and says, <laughs> so, you know, what is it now, Adam? And Adam says, Lord. What's a headache? <laughs> <laughs> and now you know the beginning of this whole rodeo, little radio rangers. I hope you learned something. I, I know I did. Till next good corner, this is Ranger Dan. I'd say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Addiction. It's a problem for many. And addiction can drive away those who love you the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, broken relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, June 21st, 2021. Equity markets began pulling back last week after the Fed dropped a bomb on the market. The FOMC increased its inflation target, upped the timeline for future rate hikes, and sent the market into a tailspin. The S&P 500 shed more than 1% on Friday, putting the index at its lowest level in over two weeks. If the market can't bounce back this week, the indices could be in for a much deeper correction. The S&P 500 are trading nearly 22.5 times their forward earnings and well above the 10-year average. The biggest hurdle for the market this week will come on Friday with the release of the personal income and spending data. Within the report is the Fed's favored gauge of consumer-level inflation, the PCE Price Deflector Index. The index spiked to well over the Fed's target 2% rate last month and is expected to be hot again this month. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.